So for BattleBots face-offs, we had some changes that I wanted to make to the robot, some things I wanted to do differently, most of which we've documented here on the channel. And unfortunately, when we got the robots all together and ready to go, when it's just a few days before we're ready to load them up and put them in the van, uh, I waited until that time to throw them on a scale, because I was sure that they were going to be the same weight they've always been. And as it turned out, they were quite a bit over. So we took two robots. Uh, those two robots, the first one weighed 256 pounds when we threw it on the scale. The second one weighed 257. So we were overweight on both robots significantly. And so we had to make some last minute adjustments and scrambles to get down to 250. The way the current version of Tombstone is designed, the armor panels, like this top piece here, are both armor and part of the frame structure. So it's bolted all the way around, and then the cross bracing to support it, the armor actually provides that stability to the frame. So this was a, this was a good design. The thing is, it's, it is, even though it's titanium, it's fairly thick titanium, and those pieces are kind of heavy. But because they're actually part of the frame structure, we couldn't really change out all of that. I need that structure in order for the robot to stay solid. But one of the, one of the pieces that's also cut out of thick titanium is the cover that goes over the batteries. So that's this guy right here. And this legitimately, all it's doing is protecting the batteries. It's not part of the frame structure. And so this was one where I could make a thinner piece to replace it. So the replacement piece is still titanium, but you can see that it's, it's quite a bit, quite a bit thinner between the two. And uh, so this is 150 thousandths, this is 60 thousandths. So, you know, about a third of the, the weight in this case. And I lost a pound and a half in this process, just changing out this one panel. So uh, there's part of it. We're getting there. So another armor panel that's on the robot that is less significant is on the front, kind of between where the weapon motor is and where the weapon itself is. There's just a panel across there, and the, its only job is to keep arena debris from coming back into the robot. So it's not there to protect anything other than just to keep out junk. And... Believe it or not, there's a lot of debris in the arena, a lot of dust and bolts and other stuff like that. So that's been this panel here for long you know, years and whatnot. So I made, I made some super thin ones here. Now, these are aluminum, so it's, it's not like it's all that heavy of material. But we went from, you know, a, a eighth inch material down to, I think this is 35,000, so really thin. So this didn't save a lot because it wasn't all that heavy to begin with. It, it's it, it easily a half a pound out of that. So more weight coming off that way. Next area we looked at to try to lose some weight was in the tires. All right, now these tires I get from NPC. These are very solid. They're foam filled. They take a lot of damage. They're really tough, but they are kind of heavy. Okay, and one of the things is basically they they foam fill these well it's not consistent they're not all, not all exactly the same weight so first thing i had to do is just go through all the tires i had and just throw them on a scale and figure out which ones are lighter which ones are heavier because they can vary by you know a quarter of a pound pretty easy so between the two tires that's another half pound you could get the other part of that is the rims that are on this are very they're heavy they're they're pretty heavy steel so if you can pop the rims out, you can get thinner rims to put in there. Now they're not as strong, they won't take as much damage, but they are lighter. So between finding the lightest tires we have and then going with the lightest rims I had available to put in, I was able to lose about a pound between the two tires. So we're, uh, we're continuing to make progress here. We're, we're going to get there. So far, the changes that I've made were done to both frames the same. 
but we reached the point where I kind of verged between the two. So the frame that I was going to set up with the short AR weapon, what we were going to set up to run against Hypershock, um, I can't really take any weight out of the weapon on that one. It's just a solid piece of AR. So I still need to find a few pounds somewhere else on the robot. And this maybe wasn't the best tactical decision to do this, but it did solve the problem. So what I did for that particular frame is I cut a hunk of the back of the robot off. So this is the armor panel that goes across the back of the robot. And this is AR plate here, and it's, uh, you know, like 3 sixteenths material. It's pretty hefty. Okay. So this, this is several pounds right there. And cutting this out, then I could replace it with some thinner steel. It looks the same. So if you were to look at the robot, it looks like it's always looked, but instead of having a nice thick piece of AR back there, um, it was much thinner steel, so it was much less protection, but it's what I had to do in order to make weight. And so on frame one, this final piece solved it, and when we threw it on the scale at BattleBots, it weighed exactly 250 pounds. So all of this work, even though this was a pain in the butt right at the end when we're ready to load up, I was doing this the day we were supposed to load up. So. Uh, it was a mad scramble at the end, but that completed that robot. It was 250 pounds. Frame two, I was setting up to fight against Valkyrie. So I needed the longest weapon bar I could put on the robot so I'd have enough reach to make sure that I'm going to hit them. You want to you win that reach advantage. Uh, but that robot had the aluminum bar with the steel teeth. And so... This might not be a pretty way to fix this, but this fixed it immediately, solved all my issues completely. So I just cut off some material off the weapon bar. So these are the pieces off each end. Right there, I could angle it back a little bit. And this, these cuts here, taking this material off, cut out five pounds. So... This was, this was an easy and quick way of fixing frame two. This also, between the changes in the panels and then this, meant that I didn't have to mess with the tires. I could just use regular tires with no problem on that particular frame. And that frame, on the scale, exactly 250 pounds. We showed up with two robots that weighed, by the ounces, exactly what I could get away with. So where does that leave us going forward? Well, obviously, we had to design a lot of different stuff to make it to this event. But most of those are things I want to redesign differently down the road. So even though we worked hard making some of this stuff, I'm probably not going to be using this stuff again. So I think at this stage right now, I'm just going to go ahead and you know list these things on eBay. So if you're one of those people who likes to collect memorabilia from combat robots. This stuff will be up and available. And as we dive in down the road to start some of the redesign on this, of course, I'll document all of that and all that stuff will be here on the channel. So uh, stay tuned. We've got some interesting stuff coming.